Here we go. We got the starting lineup. Let's see it. Let's see those winners. All right. This is what we got here. Keys to a big home win. Number one, drive the hoop. We got to drive that hoop. You got to get in there. Two, slam it in. When we get in, we got to slam it in. Number three, solid pivots. This is this is basic stuff, right? Four, have fun. It's the most important. Yo. Hey, Ellis. Can you come pick me up? Can't. Pajama pants. Pajama pants? Why didn't you ask if I was okay? What? You called and I said, yo. Can you come pick me up? Damn. Why you need a ride? Glad you finally asked. Let's go back to earlier in the day. Oh, damn. Is it a whole thing? Shit. I was going into the bank when I saw Cal and his boyfriend leaving a movie. Hey, hipsters. How was Avatar? Caught ya. I took a picture. You can't deny seeing it, you turd. Everyone's gonna know. Oh, that's where you're mistaken. Avatar is very relevant again, and another cultural milestone. This is our third time seeing it, actually. Each time it's better than before. What? I thought we were all not going to go see it and let it bomb. No, it's pretty great, actually. Good for theater owners and fans of artists still making original properties. Yeah. But it would have been funny if Cameron lost a billion dollars, too. So, look, I'm not the asshole here, okay? Sure. Okay, maybe uh, step outside yourself for a moment and look at the situation from a different angle. Okay, I will. I was going to the bank, I saw you two leaving fucking Waterworld way of the whatever, and then I came over and started yelling at Okay, I'm the asshole. I already know I'm an asshole. I broke my good pipe, and I'm cashing a check and getting a new pipe, and I haven't had any yet today, and I'm just kind of, uh. You know what really help is to go check out Avatar. It really calms you down and makes you remember what's important. What is this a bit? Are you serious with this? Are you really into Avatar? I love it. It's my favorite franchise of all time. Really? Huh. I didn't think it actually had fans. It does. And it always has. They just had to hide it. Like a dirty secret. But not anymore. And now it's finally okay to love Avatar out in the open. What is your name, strange friend? Oh, my apologies. This is Spaz... I... James Rugburn... He's actually my stepbrother. Brother? <laughs> Brother? Uh, I mean, I guess, <laughs> te technically, uh, well. Huh. What? Uh, just, I was always a only child growing up. So, uh, it just... <clears throat> hmm. Oh, Callie, look. Your brother's about to cry. <sighs> Why in the fuck are you telling me about being emotional in public? Because. Otherwise it wouldn't make sense why I went to see Avatar 2 Way of the Water. Why you need to explain it? Me and Jenny already saw it twice. What are you talking about? Everybody loves Avatar. Do they? Okay. Well, so there I am. I just took three monster rips off my brand new Yoshi pipe and I devoured a couple DJ brain gummies and ready to see what the fuss is about. Three hours later, I leave the theater. You love that shit, right? Best movie ever, probably. Oh, you want a review? Uh, it was all right. The water looked kind of cool. Oh, listen to this motherfucker. Anyway, there I am, standing outside the theater, still very high, and I have no idea where my car is. Ha, <laughs> classic. And then what happened? What do you mean, what happened? I don't know where my car is. I'm up in Roseville. Come pick me up. That's a trash fucking story, dog. Wasting my time. Like I said, I'm up in here with uh, pajama pants and ice cream, so... Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Dude, where's my car? <laughs> right, remember? Come pick me up, best friend. No, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm in for the night. Uh, hey, yo, maybe you should call your brother. <laughs>